Hi everyone, welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry international videos. I am Kenithia J. Okay, welcome. So this is going to be very short. Your husband or your, yeah, your husband, hallelujah. This is for women. These are for the wives to be. Your husband is supposed to pick you up. Okay, the Holy Spirit has been showing me that, like, literally. I had a stranger tell me that. Like, I don't even... I think I ever saw this person again in my life, right? But I had... um, It was like, it was years ago. I had somebody come up to me and... They told me something else about my husband, and then they also told me my husband's supposed to pick me up. So, I got confirmation today while watching Dr. Prophetess Maddie Nottage um, in service to put this video. Because, like I said, the Holy Spirit been showing me that, like, the last day or two. <laughs> Just like, your husband gonna pick you up. So, I didn't, but I didn't do a video on it because, um... I'm not rushing to do videos. I want to make sure the Lord tells me to say what I'm supposed to say um, on this channel. Hallelujah. But yes, this is for a woman. Your husband, basically when the Lord tells you, um, thank you, Holy Spirit, he's telling me to go deeper. When you, uh, <laughs> when you, um, <laughs> So, if your husband is supposed to pick you up, your husband not supposed to be broke, okay? Your husband is supposed to either be on your level or um, higher. That's how it's always supposed to be. Boaz sought after Ruth. Ruth got a Boaz. You are supposed to get um, a Boaz. You don't want <laughs> a broke ASS. <laughs> Oh my gosh, praise the Lord. So you want a husband that keeps God first, that that worships the Lord, that loves you. I mean, that loves the Lord God and Father God more than you, okay? And you want to do the same thing. But your husband is supposed to pick you up. Your husband is supposed to be financially stable. Your husband is supposed to be a loving, caring man. Like when you meet your husband, you're not going to have to um cultivate them in that way the cultivation that you're going to do with each other could be um mar for marital purposes like uh, it could be anything i don't know it could be something big or small it could be you open like your husband wanting to open it up i mean you want your husband to open the door for you and he's never done that so that's a form of cultivation because now when you voice that opinion that's something he's gonna work on okay so your husband is supposed to pick you up physically okay he should be able to pick you up with his hands his arms okay He's supposed to be on the same level as you or more or, or higher. And he must keep God first. Okay? He must, must, must praise and worship. You know, don't fall for the lies. A lot of men will sit up there and try to tell you that, oh, don't, yes, I praise and worship the Lord. Yes, I praise and worship the Lord. And then when it's time to pray or get on their knees, they ask you what to do. You have to be careful for that. Men will lie to have sex with you, to get your cookie, whatever you want to call it. Like, men will lie and do that. Okay? So, that's all the Lord wants me to say. Shalom.